relationships between organizations, communities, individuals that didn't exist before. We've set in motion some structures and processes for uh, communities to make decisions, to uh, look at options, to determine what might work within their community. We've been able to reflect on what we might want to do differently than the next time. Uh, communities have been able to reflect on what's worked and, and what hasn't. And most of all, it's, uh, the success has, has very much been because we've been able to leverage uh, resources, people, ideas, energy, spirit, and perhaps most of all, hope. Take the first step and let go of the fear. Realize love is always near. I've been with No Committees Left Behind for the past year and I've seen a transition within the Ledbury Banff community from where there's no communication or trust between the community or the residents of that community with the police to where we're at now where we're approached uh, given information, asked for advice, asked for uh, assistance with uh, family problems. We're in regularly invited to community events and when we're not at these community events, we're uh, asked for reasons for our lack of attendance. So this is a, a very strong cooperation where trust has been reestablished and uh, cooperation between uh, the community and the police is very strong. I'm very happy to have taken part in this initiative been part of the No Communities Left Behind project for a year now where we've had the unique opportunity to involve both the outreach aspect of community policing as well as the enforcement. We've um, been able to see a huge difference in the community, particularly Banff, where we would approach and, and people would go inside their homes and not want to talk to police officers, to children running up to the street openly welcoming us, uh, calling us by name, as well as to the community members coming out and, and discussing topics openly with us without fear of retaliation or intimidation. Uh, this project shows us that social mobilization works when you've got all of your social partners working together. I think the, uh, the No Communities Left Behind initiative is an excellent example of uh, the concepts and theories behind crime prevention through social development being operationalized at the ground level. Uh, the Auto Police Service is extremely pleased with the success of the program and, and the initiative and we've seen a sound return on our investment and the resources that we've deployed in this uh, initiative. And the results and the successes are around uh, the increase in reporting of incidents in that community, but also the rebuilding of the trust between the officers and the residents of the community. The, uh, the No Community Left Behind initiative is a success because of the commitment and dedication of the partners that have come up to the table to deal with these issues in a holistic approach. But more importantly, is it's the success around the engagement of the residents of this community who are truly uh, committed to affecting change for the positive. Hi, my name is Maria McCray and I'm the City Council representing River Ward. And I'm very, very proud to be part of the No Community Left Behind team. It was actually an honour for me to be invited to join that team. Several years ago when we installed the playground at Banff Ledbury, we knew it was a turning point, but we had nowhere else to go but up. The No Community Left Behind project has actually been one of the most inspiring things for that area and other parts of our city. It's a true partnership, bringing all the partners together. As a City Councilor, I like to see people working together instead of duplicating services. We have true police presence in that community and the statistics show that it's working. So it was without saying that I would fully support any kind of enhancement to this program. I've written strong letters of support. I participate very actively. We recently did an audit of the site at Banff Library to look how we can make things safer. People as far away from Toronto at Hydro One have participated. So when you look at the true participative value of this program, it's outstanding. It's a role model for other things we should do in the city and I think it's something that can easily be replicated across the province. I can tell you that being a rookie member of City Council that nothing to this extent happened in my whole entire term of office. It's truly really remarkable, it's exceptional, 
And it's truly one of those opportunities that you don't see very often where all the partners come together for the benefit of one big area. It's very valuable to do that. It saves obvious money and resources because we're not stretching ourselves too thin. We're not duplicating services. I've received many positive comments from my colleagues on the holistic approach taken which addresses core issues in these communities. This is a model on how we should be doing business. Simple as that. I would like to say that the positive outcomes of the initiative that we have undertaken speak volumes of its effectiveness. Right from the beginning, the intention was not to reinvent the wheel. In 2004, when I was doing research, and going through various models of crime prevention through social development from around the world, my focus was to come up with something workable. Uh, you can see the success of what we have put together as a result from the fact that the phases and components that we identified two years ago remain exactly the same. For example, compare the draft model which I shared with my colleagues in 2004 before reaching out to, to partners with what we are currently following today. It tells us that we are practicing the same principle, focusing on the same components and practically going through the same phases of implementation process that we envisaged in 2004. The number of partner organizations and their commitment to the initiative increases with each passing day. The steering committee has just started to bring the real test of true collaboration and partnership as mutual understanding increases. Of course, what we have done so far is a great success, but to me it's just the first step that we uh, just completed. Take the first step and let go of the fear. Realize love is always near. To be free, to be happy, is to be one with peace. Now's the time to let go. Now's the time to release. Peace is every step to the way to be free. The world holds its truth. Whatever we say, I know that we will.